Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. So today, the purpose of this video is to really think about the question that I'm going to ask you. Are women the property of men? Meaning that are wives the property of their husbands? I know that this question seems simple. However, I want you guys to put deep thought and think of it in another perspective and relate to the Christian faith. Because I'm a Christian, so I have to do that. That being said, I was listening to part of the Pierce Morgan interview with Andrew Tate. And in that interview, Pierce Morgan brought up an old video where he spoke about the fact that wives are the properties of their husbands. Right? Um, and Pierce Morgan brought up this point in the interview. I'm going to watch this part and then we discuss it. Listen, my friend, if we want to argue about this, we need to go back to the Bible, to the Quran. You need to argue with religious no, no, I'm, I'm not talking about any, anything in the Bible or Quran. I'm asking but that's what you, it says. No, no, I'm asking you what you that's think. What I think that if a woman marries a man and she decides to take his last name, that they have different roles and responsibilities within that marriage. And I believe True. that. That's not the question. True. She is hand, I believe don't, the father, behave, oh, Andrew, I am. The, the father like, hands her. Don't behave like a politician. The father hands her when to you, the man. Right, but don't be a politician because I think you're a straight talker, sure. right? You keep telling me you're a straight talker. Sure. I think my sister is her husband's property. Do you regret saying it like that? I understand that with my newfound fame, perhaps it could be phrased differently. However, I still believe that a woman is given to the man in marriage. If something happens or his wife's life is threatened, I believe that men, women, women and children first are on the light boat, lifeboats. But men, I believe that men. Like, but a man I, doesn't own a woman. It's not, no. It's, okay. Unless they literally buy them as a slave. Well, obviously, we're not talking about that. We're talking about religious biblical marriage. We're talking about something else. Yeah, but I'm, look, I'm a Christian. I don't believe that I, 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 I own my wife. Do you believe your wife was given away to you when she took your last name? I believe that there is a process where a, a father traditionally walks his daughter down the aisle and hands his daughter to this man and they stand there and become a union of two loving so people agree. in a partnership. No, because there's no ownership involved. I didn't say ownership. He's not, he's not selling her. The father of the bride isn't selling his daughter. No, absolutely. But that's what property she means. She it's becomes not, a member like of a your house, family. is it? I think we're arguing over semantics. That's we're not, though. Okay. So he says that he believes that the woman is given to a man in marriage. That is true. However, I think that there was another video circulating where he stated that um, women or wives are the property of their husbands. Those are two completely different concepts. Yes, a woman is given to a man in marriage, and that man has a responsibility to provide, protect, and yeah to provide and to protect for her as her husband and that is a traditional biblical rule of a husband the role of a husband in bible terms is that the husband is the head of the household so you have christ you have the husband you have the wife and then you have the children so there's a hierarchical structure there's nothing wrong with that okay now making that statement is different from saying the fact from saying that women are the property of men and that this is biblical no that statement that women are the property of men it's really it's really a controversial point of view right because i took the liberty to do some research on mr google and i so at some points about the Old Testament, I understand the Old Testament um, has the Torah, which are um, the first five books, and the Old Testament has a lot to do with like Judaism and Jewish laws and Hebrew laws and things like that. The Old Testament was before Christ came. Okay, right? Right. So before Christ came, women were seen as property to some extent in the old testament right i'm going to show the proof right here where women were seen as property you have exodus 20 verse 17 deuteronomy 5 verse 12 right and i'm also looking at this site where it says that perhaps one of the most challenging aspects of the torah as it is presented in the Old Testament, is that women are counted among a man's possession along with children, slaves, and livestock. There's, an, uh, there's another article that I also read, and that article stated that women were seen as property, right? But of a higher class, of a higher order of property. So I 
was not as equal to this lime juice. However, I'm like a higher, higher, higher class than the lime juice, just in, as an example, right? That being said, if you look at the Old Testament view and perspective, it makes me feel sad as a woman, right? Because the way how things are coined, it seems as if women had no rights. It's just, yeah, that's, that's, that's how I feel. Women have no rights and we're just reduced to just baby making and cooking and cleaning. And I don't believe that. Women are more valuable than that. I mean, at the end of the day, no woman in 2022 wants to be reduced to a, a man. No woman wants to be reduced to a servant that just cooks and cleans. If that is the case, then women, women would not want to be married. I don't believe that women are the property of men in terms of I am not the same as a cattle or a donkey or the same as a baby making machine. I believe that there's more value to a woman than just cooking, cleaning, pushing out children. Yeah. Right? So when you say that women are the property of men, it gives off a connotation that when I get married, this man is my owner. Meaning that he has the authority to do whatever he pleases. And that's not true. Right? Because if I have a house, this house that I live in, it's my house. If I want to take a spray paint and graffiti it, if I want to take a take something and mash it up, I by all means I have the right to do that because I own it. However, when a man becomes a husband and a woman becomes that man's wife, he does not have authority to beat her as how he feels. That is a grounds of divorce according to the Old Testament, right? He does not have the right to do as how he feels to that woman. So when you say that, okay, women are just property, you're giving off that connotation that, okay, men or the husband has the right to do as how he feels to that woman, which is not true. And that is not biblical, right? A husband's responsibility is to provide, to protect, to lead and to be the head of the whole soul as it relates to biblical traditional roles. I'm not talking about modern topsy turvy roles. I'm talking about what Bible says, right? And it is okay to take responsibility of a woman. Responsibility and authority is different than control because authority means that okay, I have the right to say something, I have the right as her husband to do x y and z that is authority what gave you that authority the marriage union right but control we control now that's different than authority because you can try to control something without having the authority and if you try to control something without having the authority it's called manipulation so there are two different views that are being conflated into one and it's causing a lot of confusion because when i was listening to this interview and then when i was thinking about it i was a bit confused because i'm saying okay well if andrew tate is talking about in the biblical context that women are the property of men and blah blah blah, blah i'm like god really do, are you reducing my role to just a servant of the man i know that the bible says um that women are also the helpmate of a man and i do agree right because there are many men who are successful and they're successful because of the help of women right and also in the book of genesis remember you know adam was in the field he was doing his work he was naming the animals and then god saw it and god said it's not good for a man to be alone let me make him a helper so our responsibility as a wife is to help our husbands but our role and what that help entails should not be reduced to just cooking and cleaning because as i said before if it is reduced to just cooking and cleaning that means that the role of a wife is equivalent to a servant 
and that means that a wife can be replaced by a maid and that that is not true hence the statement that wives are the property of their husband it falls it's not valid do husbands have responsibility for our our, our husbands responsible for their wives that is true but the wife isn't the property because if we're the property that means that the husband has the ability to do as he please with the wife and that is not biblical a man cannot just do what he wants with a woman And when we have these toxic connotations and when we have these toxic levels of thinking in society, it really hurts relationships and future relationships that are supposed to be formed. Because now you have immature, impressionable young men thinking that they are the leaders when they themselves need leadership in their lives. They are the leaders and they are the owners of women. That's not true. I mean, it's very messed up. And now, thinking about it now, I kind of understand the reason for the women's rights movement. However, <laughs> the feminist movement is kind of toxic, but that's another video for another day. But I do really understand the role of the women's rights movement because a woman in society, in modern society, it's a very, very stressful because on one point first of all we have to deal with ageism right if you're not married by 25 30 people are going to be looking at you funny as if something is wrong with you right then if you as a woman if you want a career and want to focus in just a career people are going to look at you funny as if something is wrong with you if you want a family and a career and you're trying to balance it all and you're not managing people are gonna look at you funny like everything that a woman does is done under it's, it's scrutinized and it's really annoying like modern day women don't want to just cook clean raise babies and I don't think that there's anything wrong with that per se now do I believe that modern day women should put career over family no but at the end of the day, that's just a choice of the woman, what she wants to do. Me personally, I'm not going to do that, right? And a woman is needed in the household because she is going to exhibit the nurturing side of humanity. She's going to be motherly. She's going to be loving and caring. That being said, this video was controversial. This video has people going all over in a frenzy. This video has people stressing themselves out and scratching their heads. And I'm just like, listen, at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you, right? Not everyone is a Christian. Not everyone is going to believe with traditional male and female roles. Not everyone is going to believe in the Bible, right? Can we force them to? No. Also, you're going to have people who claim that they are Christian and try to weaponize the Bible and take parts of the Bible and weaponize it against women. Just as how, and we also need to remember, just as how Andrew Tate can say, okay, um, women are the property of men, blah, 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 blah. We also need to remember that the Bible has been used as a weapon against different groups and classes of people for centuries. The part of the Bible that talks about slaves of it should obey their masters was used to weaponize black people all over the world. And it was completely taken out of context. And I find it so funny because in one video he's saying that yes, he believes that um, women are property and that woman is the, man, the, the property of the man. And then in the interview, he doubles down and says that um, the man is responsible for the woman. Those are two different point of views anyway guys and just to further prove that this point is just stupid i was even thinking the other day if a man and a woman have a child is the child the property of <laughs> i'm sorry is the child the property of 
that 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 man and that woman the parents are responsible for their children but do they own their children no and if someone says oh i own my child you look at that person crazy so why shouldn't you look on a man that says if a, on a man which is andrew tate that says women are the property of men why shouldn't you look at that person as if they're crazy or with a side eye that makes no sense let me know your thoughts in the comment section below don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know your thoughts on this issue do you believe that women are the property of men do you believe that women are equal to men do you do you believe that our roles as as a woman is just reduced to a servant like what do you believe i need to know in the comments below thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye